because she was born poor. She was born poor, but maybe she won't die poor. We're all gonna die poor. Maybe we can have some fun in the meantime. I, I disagree. I ain't gonna die poor. I know that. Good luck to you, Missy. The world is changing for women. <laughs> no, it ain't. The world a place for men to do what they want with us, and we try to survive. Only if you let it. You let them. I ran away from them boys. And you and me find you in the... Okay. And we're gonna be okay. If you don't... Leave Hi, Uncle. Arthur? One more time, just for love. Hello. Hey, Arthur! That better? What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows, just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. You know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there.